Hi, Merry Christmas! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Heidi if this is your first time here and if you are new here then I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. Today, since we are in the end of the year, I thought to show you my 2020 empties. Let's get started. I've been saving my empty products since I think June or July this year and that's just because I didn't have a channel before so that's why I don't have anything from the first half of the year I have some hair products, some body products, some makeup products I'm gonna try to kind of divide these in categories so that it's a little bit more cohesive the product that I've run out of the fastest is probably body lotion I have really really dry skin my first product here is the Dove Nourishing Secrets Glowing Ritual Body Lotion. I have probably tried like every single one of these different scents of Dove Body Lotion and I think this particular scent was very nice, it was very light. The thing that I like about it the most is that it's so hydrating but it like sinks into the skin super fast so I don't have to wait for like an hour before I can put on like jeans or something. So. That's a great product, I would definitely buy this again. Next body product is the Nivea Rich Nourishing 48 Hour Intensive Moisturizing Care. This one is much, much thicker than this. Like this is actually like hard to move on the skin when you're trying to like rub it in your legs or whatever. But it does surprisingly sink into the skin very fast. And this is definitely not my first bottle. Even this year, I've probably gone through like three of these. A really great product. And if you have like very, very dry skin, then this one is probably the best thing that you can buy. Next in this category, I have this rituals. The ritual of Happy Buddha Jolly Hand Balm. Looks like this. I'm not 100% sure, but I think Rituals is from Netherlands. I'm sure you've seen this brand everywhere and I absolutely love all of their stuff. I've actually gone through two of these bottles this year. I have like a really intense hand eczema and everything burns my hands, but this was a product that I was able to put in my hands. Like I tried everything. I tried things from the pharmacy with like no fragrance and like really natural products, all kinds of really, really basic products and it was honestly just the worst. Um, nothing worked, but this was one that I could use and this didn't give my hands any blisters. So <laughs> for the most part of this year, my hands have actually been good. Um, it's like a stress-related eczema anyway, so I have been a little bit less stressed this year, which I know is probably a weird thing to say since this year has been so intense, but I would definitely buy this again, the best hand cream I've ever, ever, ever tried. And this particular scent, it says here, sweet orange and cedar wood. And it smells like so amazing. I would highly recommend this one. I also had from Rituals a body scrub that was like really amazing. I only have the top of it left. The jar of this is actually right here. Um, I'm growing basil in it, <laughs> so I can't show you the jar, but I'm sure I'll find a picture and I'll put it somewhere here It's like a sugar scrub and it smells the same than the hand balm and it's just really lovely It was like very sugar and like oil mix and it was just really really good for my dry legs 10 out of 10 would buy again. Let's move on to hair products If you have watched my hair tutorials, you have probably already seen this product, but it is the Biozel hairspray it is a very very strong hold it's number five the maximum hold i have like a tiny bit left it's somewhere here this is a great hairspray if you are doing like a ponytail or like an updo but if you have curls like this and you want volume i would not recommend this especially if you have like fine thin hair like i do because it is so strong hold that it's actually like heavy on your hair and it will weigh your hair down and it will also like straighten your curls because it's that like heavy. Really great for updos, like if I do a high ponytail, I spray this so I don't have a lot of flyaways and it's really great for that. I will probably not buy this again though, I think I will go for the Elnet hairspray because it is really lightweight and I feel like I could use it for my like curls like this. Next is the Batiste dry shampoo in the clean and classic original scent. It's awesome, I already have replaced this I did buy again this original scent just because it's just so fresh and 
I feel like sometimes if I have too much fragrance on my hair, I kind of feel like I need to wash my hair. So this one just makes me feel more like clean and like I just wash my hair. It is white though, so if you have darker hair, I'm not sure if this will work for you, but I think Batiste has brown dry shampoos as well. My hair is blonde, so this one works just fine for me. So I just spray this in the roots and shake the roots like this and then ready to go. The last hair product that I finished this year, well actually it's not the only one, but it's the only one that I saved and it's only the cap. It's this Garnier hair food 3-in-1 hair mask. This is the papaya one. It was great for my hair, but last March I cut my hair short and it was all my natural hair color. I have highlights now in the front of my hair, but I didn't have any highlights then and this was too conditioning for my just my natural hair. I don't feel the need for this now, even though I do have like highlights and the front of my hair is a lot more dry than the natural hair here. I'm just kind of using whatever I have at the moment, like my hair oils and stuff, so I probably will not buy this again. I did finish one perfume this year. It is it is the Next Aura perfume. This was really cheap. It was probably like 8 pounds or 12 pounds or something like that. I bought this because I wanted to try something cheaper because in my experience more expensive perfumes don't always mean that they are better. So I had heard really good things about this one. I heard people say that this one is like a dupe for the YSL Black Opium. So I bought it and I did use it all. As you can see it's completely empty and it smelled good. I don't think it smelled like black opium, but I did have to use a lot of it because it didn't stay on the skin or on the clothes for a long time, so I would not buy this again. But it did smell pretty good. It did say one moisturizer that I was using. This one is the Garnier Skin Active Botanical Day Cream with flower honey, and they stopped making this, I believe, because they had like three or four different kinds of this. This one, for my skin type, worked really well and I always have a really hard time to find good moisturizers and this was cheap and it worked and they stopped making it. I did use three of these this year. Um, this was the last one and I will not be buying this again because I cannot find it anymore. So another face product is this Superdrug Naturally Radiant Glycolic Tonic. This one has 5% glycolic acid in it, so it's just Superdrug's own brand. And I have this much left in it. I don't use this all over my face because it is way too drying. I have like normal to dry skin, but what I use this for is whenever I have acne scars, like I have, do have a lot of concealer on, but I had a big one right here um, and some right here. But what I do is after I wash my face, and I've used my toner. I pour a little bit of this on a cotton round and I only use this in the spots where I have my acne scars and it lightens the scars a lot faster than if I'm not using this. Unless I find another product I will probably repurchase after I finish this because it is very affordable and it works great and it's pretty big if you think about it that I only use it for those scars. And the last product before I move on to my empty makeup products is this L'Oreal Micellar Water. It was an okay product, would probably not buy again. It doesn't have like any oil in it or anything so I can't take waterproof mascara off with this. I also can't take a lot of my liquid lipsticks off with this. I just need something a little stronger so I probably would not buy this again. And now let's move on to the makeup products. It takes me a really long time to finish any makeup product because I just use everything pretty sparingly. But I do have nine makeup products here. Let's start with a primer. I probably have had this for like two years and I actually in the end I was like, I just want to use this so I can buy another primer. The primer that I finished this year is the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer. And this is the lavender one. I think this was supposed to like fight dullness or something. I never noticed any difference. I think maybe my pores were a little bit less noticeable with this because it feels like a silicone primer. It did not make my makeup last longer. It wasn't like sticky at all. I was really tired of using this in the end and I'm happy that I finally finished it. I would not buy again because it just didn't really do anything. Foundation that I finished this year is the Maybelline Fit Me 
luminous and smooth or dewy and smooth foundation in 105. This one I had for I want to say two years and this is a nice foundation for somebody who doesn't really like full coverage foundation and like something very lightweight. This is like medium coverage at best. I would probably call this more light coverage. You can't really build it up either but it is very luminous and it kind of feels like your skin but also, I never felt like, oh, I don't have foundation on at all when I was using this. Like, it was nice, it evened out my skin tone, but I always felt like I needed to powder it so that it wouldn't, like, get all over my clothes and stuff, so... Overall, a nice foundation. I know this is very popular, a lot of people like it. If I did use foundation in my daily life, I would probably purchase this again, but... I like trying new things and I try not to have more than like one or two foundations at a time so while this is very nice I do like to try new things and since I had this for like two years I'm like ready to say goodbye to this and just try something else and see how I like that. So since June or July I have used up two concealers. First one is this Rimmel Lasting Radiance Concealer in number 10, Ivory. I knew when I bought this that it's not going to be full coverage. It is light to medium coverage, you can't really build it up. But I bought this to use on days when I don't really want to wear any makeup. But I get pretty dark under eyes, so I just wanted something to put under my eyes and maybe on some like acne scars and stuff. I thought the color looked like it would be a good match for me and it was a little too dark for me. But on days when I had a little bit of self tanner on, this one was really great. I do like to try new concealers all the time, just like foundation, so I probably will not repurchase this. I will just try something new, but it was a good concealer. And the second concealer that I finished is the Revlon Candid Antioxidant Concealer in Vanilla. I have talked about this before in my videos and I really, really love the formula. This is probably one of my favorite concealer formulas of all time. But the color range is so awful. I've seen this online and I see more shades of this online. But in store I have only ever seen four. And this one is the lightest one. And this one is way too dark for somebody with my skin tone. This formula is just so beautiful. I feel like I don't necessarily need to set it. Because it doesn't really like crease which is so strange because it's not like a dry concealer at all. It is just so comfortable and I always say it's like flexible. I just don't know what other word to use for it. It just is like flexible and it feels hydrating. I just really like it. It's so comfortable on the skin and it says medium coverage, but I think this is like between medium and full coverage. This has a really good coverage. Although I like to try new concealers, this one was just so good that if I can find one that's lighter than this that would actually match my skin tone, I will 100% for sure buy it. Another makeup product that I run out of real fast are brow products, especially brow pencils. So the brow pencil that I used up this year is the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil in Soft Brown. That's the spoolie on one end and this one was the brow pencil as you can see there is nothing left this one was a good product but i will not buy this again just because if i use a brow pencil i need it to be like a micro pencil and this one is just too thick and i wanted to buy a micro pencil after but i ended up buying the brow tint and i really love that one but i probably will buy a brow pencil again just because they're so convenient but it will not be this one next i have the l'oreal miss baby roll Mega Volume Mascara. This one, I think it still has a tiny bit of product in it, but it's just, as you can see, it is just completely dry. And I think I had this for maybe four months or so, which is fine. I think you're supposed to change your mascaras like every three months, so that's completely fine that it dried. I liked it, nothing special. It didn't do anything special to my lashes. This one was fine, but I do like to try new mascaras as well, so I will not repurchase this. 
and what's left are lip products and i have three lip products to show you the first one is a lip gloss that's almost finished has a tiny bit left in it and this one is the lumine i think it doesn't have any text in it anymore but i think it's called silky lip fluid which is a really strange name in my opinion for a lip gloss but this shade is sheer and it is just a nude lip gloss. Last time that I checked Luminous website they didn't have this anymore so I'm pretty sure these were discontinued. It is an awesome formula. It is so hydrating. It's kind of like a lip mask. Now I go run in the gym on the treadmill most days but when I used to go run outside my lips would just get so dry because of all the like wind and it was kind of chilly and stuff and I would always have like this on my lips. I was also just trying to use it because I have three different shades of this and I don't want to use these on my YouTube channel anymore or on my Instagram pictures because they are apparently discontinued so I'm just trying to use this in my daily life just to get kind of rid of them so I can then use something else. We have two products left and these are both lip liners. The first one is the Revlon Colors Daily Planner in Nude. And this is how much I have left. I do run out of lip liners multiple times a year. I probably have run out of, I want to say maybe four this year, but two are probably in the beginning of the year. And I can't remember which ones those were. But nude lip liners, I do run out of really quickly. This specific one is this Color Stay line that Revlon has and that's what I like most about this lip liner because it does not go anywhere. This one is completely mask proof. It is just the driest formula in the best way. I personally just don't like creamy lip liners because they do not stay in place and I want the lip liner that doesn't go anywhere. Even if my lipstick moves, I want my lip liner to stay put. But I do not really appreciate the packaging. It's nice that it's retractable, but it should be like a little bit more difficult to turn this. This one is so loose that because I hold the liner from here when I line my lips, it keeps rolling, you know, in and out. So um, it is not the most convenient packaging. And because it's not like a micro pencil, it's a little bit bigger. It just sometimes the line is too thick and I would like a thinner, more precise line. Like if you have a normal lip liner pencil, you can just, you know, sharpen it and you will always have a really precise, thin line. And also because it's so thick, sometimes you just get like patches of where there's a little bit more product. I am not sure if I will repurchase this. I have not found another lip liner that lasts as long as this one, especially now that we need to wear masks everywhere. I kind of feel like I need it. Last product in this whole list is my NYX lip pencil in natural. So this shade natural is a shade that I always have. Every single time I run out of this, I'm like, I'm not gonna buy it again. I'll try something else, but I always buy this shade. Lately, I've been using that shade nude beige a lot and I still really love that color. And I, that's still my favorite one of these, but there's just something about this. If you have more of a red or pink natural lip color, this would be an amazing shade to overline your lips with. This I would 100% recommend. And in general, the NYX lip pencils are incredible. These are my favorite lip liners of all time. That's it. Those are all of my empties from June or July this year till now. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. I would love to know what products you have run out of this year. Thanks again for watching. I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye.